So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about technology and data here at Autonomous Mobility. So I've done a little drawing and what you'll see here is this here is our self-driving vehicle. This is AMA. And AMA is out in traffic. And when AMA is out in traffic and moving about, it's communicating to a cloud, of course. It's sending data about its position, it's about its speed, it's uh, about the state of the battery and those kind of things. All that information goes up to, into a cloud that then distributes some of that information, for example, to a user over here who on their smartphone will be able to see where AMA is and whether or not they need to run to catch the bus. The information will also go to an information booth sort of like a bus stop, but interactive. Again, you can see where the bus is, you can see whether there's room on the bus, those kind of things. The other thing AMA does is it communicates with traffic lights. It actually doesn't look at the lights, but it gets data from the traffic light that indicates what color the light is and when the light might change so that it optimizes its route. And finally, ARMA, through the cloud, can communicate with things like subways, trains, indicated by my drawing here, and of course with regular buses as you know them today. All this of course is based on a bunch of different software. Some are proprietary to us, some are proprietary to others. It's based on data from the vehicle, it's based on data from the systems that the vehicle has to connect to. And all that together is technology and data at Autonomous Mobility. So what we're trying to do as we're looking for this new lead is to find somebody who can understand all this, from our drawing it's pretty easy, but then find ways to use that information for new services for our customers and to optimize the operations of our shuttles. So I hope this little introduction gets you excited about what we're up to and I hope that you will apply for the position that we have open.